Sharari kicks it off, and it will be a touchback. So UAB will get the football first. Let's take here if they can convert this third down. Good start. Give it to Immons again. And Immons picks his way to the 40. Yet you ask Coach Kiffin, what do you think you've learned through practice between offensive and defensive players? Immons left side breaks it inside the 30. B.J. Immons takes it to the 20 before Wright shoves him out. College, but a healthy Immons difference maker for the Owls. Now it's Malcolm Davidson shaking his way inside the 10. Davidson into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida Atlantic. Take a look at his left foot to see if he steps out awfully close. To me, it doesn't look like he does so there, even though it's really close. Yep. But at the one, he did clip the line. This one may... Warrant taking a look at it. Definitely out of bounds there. Your defense still has the upper hand. Emmons in the backfield, takes it fourth and goal. Stretching, and Emmons is in. Touchdown. Owls on fourth and goal. Flag down, but for now, Emmons in the end zone. UAB, only one first down, came on the penalty. Now Hawkins airing it out on the play action. Adds it to the 40-yard line, and the Blazers, Blazers move the sticks again. Watkins has the grab. That's a gain of 14. Myron Mitchell is on the UAB sideline. Play action again. Hawkins, time to throw. Deep shot, looking to the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown. Flag down. Helmet off. Prior to the pass, holding, defense number 27. Penalty is declined, result of the play is a touchdown. I wonder if UAB will be able to take that penalty with the overturn here of clearly a ball that was incomplete. That's gonna be incomplete, you can understand. It's ground. an incomplete pass. The offense will accept the holding on defense number 27 and force 10 yards from the previous spot with an automatic first down. On Played third, straight. yep, Hopkins, that's incomplete. Boy, on a little check down intended for Lucius Stanley, it is incomplete. Long is 51. This from 44, and it is easily good. Putting UAB on the board. Nick Vogel boots it through. Chunk plays through the air, which is how they won the East. There's a big chunk play for Antoine. He may take it. D'Angelo, Antoine. All the way, a 75-yard touchdown for the Owls. Robinson to Antoine. Out for Dylan Hopkins and the Blazers. Then the field goal drive. They'll block it up. Max protect. Deep shot on second and three. Picked off again. Taken away. Dotson has his ninth interception of the season. And he's going to bring it back inside the 25. Yard line inside the 20. There is a flag down. In fact, there are multiple flags down. Nine INTs on the season. Great coverage that time. Just sinks in coverage. Right here is going to be the blindside block rack right there. But man, we talked about the turnovers and the forced takeaways. On the run back. Davidson finds the edge. Davidson. Takes it all the way out to the 45-yard line before Will Year. Four in the last three games. Kid's a ball hawk. And off again. Davidson. Davidson breaking tackles inside the 45-yard line. And Florida Atlantic takes a head of steam into the second quarter. Up. For UAB, and it made for a big game. Robinson pop it on the RPO. Antoine takes it again and has another first down on the first play of the second quarter. Only one third down conversion so far. Robinson delivers on target inside the five-yard line, and it is touchdown. Florida Atlantic, John Mitchell takes it in. Additional players that signed a senior came up big there. Robinson's going to pull it on second and ten, and he has room to run for a first down, and then a late shove. No flag this time. Mole rides Robinson out of bounds. See, it's what you do. you got to find a way to get pressure here. Robinson, time to throw. Well short of the sticks. It's complete. And now we'll see if, in fact, it is forced decision. Rivas, who has been up and down, field goal, and it is no good. So the all teams prepared. I guarantee you he agrees with your assessment. Hopkins pressured from behind. Hopkins looking downfield instead. He will take another sack. Again, FAU's Ooh. getting the ball back. It's blocked. Greenwells punt is blocked. Scoot touchdown. A punt block for a touchdown.
Touchdown! Going to come on the right hand side of your screen right there. Just comes free, unimpeded. The shield was only three players. The player on the right has to find a way to defend that. They've got yes, that number is correct now. Plus 20 turnover margin. Lasers trying to get some back. Spencer Brown, he nearly broke it, but Spencer Brown does get 10 plus to move the chain. Needing a boost, they go to Johnson. With Brown in the backfield, Johnston's going to pull it. And Johnston goes rolling, flag down. Johnson inside the Al 35, but this one looks like it's coming back. This is unfortunate because this is a beautiful play design. No personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense number 11. Uh -huh. Tinted receiver. Tyler Johnston to the air again. Third and 12. High, incomplete. Fourth down coming. That one intended for Davis. It's smelling blood. You got to find a way to get yourself some momentum, and a field goal can do it. Vogel has now made 10 straight kicks. The senior from Jacksonville, Florida. Down gain of nine, so third and one. Robinson to the air, and it is caught right around the 25-yard line. Harrison holds it in. View exactly what you were talking about, 18. Incredible body control to go take that ball out of the air. but it... Take it to Emmons. Robinson pressured. Robinson out of the pocket. And now he's going to roll for a Florida Atlantic first down and gets out of bounds with 54 seconds. Robinson picks it up himself. But also they've been successful running the ball. Now snap at third and five. Fade back in the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown. Harrison Bryant from Chris Robinson. Reminder, and yeah, there's the face. Sure enough, and there is the toss back, and it is incomplete. Lane Kiffin raises his arms in celebration. Something to keep an eye on, but he's going to be back out here in the second half, continuing to lead the charge. Taking another deep shot, and it is, is it intercepted or is it incomplete? It is picked off by the Blazers, intended for Antoine Will Dawkins. Has just the sixth INT thrown by Chris Robison this year. It hit, and I wonder if he took a little bit off this ball, but just an excellent job going up and high pointing that football and taking it away from the receiver, demonstrating control. Did he have his feet in bounds? That right foot looks like it hits the ground first, but sitting him out the rest of the game. You can't have one of your leaders playing like that. Toss on first and ten. It is Antoine who gets it, and Antoine has the edge near the 40-yard line. Playing in this game last year with Middle Tennessee. <laughs> Beat UAB, dominant. They came back a week later, and it was, there's a big hit. It's on Bryant. It's over the middle. Mole delivers the hit. This when I was playing, starting to come online in college football. Davidson, first down. Inside the 20. Your quarterback. I mean, it was it was literally coach on the field. Second and ten. Here's Davidson. Davidson will break a tackle and take it inside the five. First and goal. I mean, he... Emmons. Second and goal. Wins the Oklahoma drill at the goal line. Touchdown. Owls. He'll leave this stadium tonight feeling very proud about his effort. Tyler Johnston, third and ten, that is tipped and almost picked off. It's a sizable lead based on those analytics. Incomplete, intended for Willie Wright on fourth down. But that's been more about attitude than anything else for this team. Johnston on the roll, hit as he throws, and it is picked off. Add another to the ledger, INT from Chris Tooley. 21 INTs on the season for Florida Atlantic. 31 takeaway. I mean, foul offense today. Robinson's going to hand the football off. Malcolm Davidson's going to cut it back, and he has plenty of room to run. Malcolm Davidson to the 41 yard line. Hand off, and another big run for FAU. Good question. Analyzes book with him. <laughs> And so here's Robinson stepping up, end zone, touchdown, on fourth down, Chauncey Mason holds it in. And Florida Atlantic does their talking during the play. Well, they had a great one here in the Boca Raton Bowl last year as Hopkins is over the middle. I mean, Tronti throwing, caught. And rolling across the 35, across the 
50 hard line. It was a little bit mixed this year, primarily passed based on personnel. Toronto pulls it, has a first down, stays in bounds inside the 40 running. Uh, you you have to do a better job as Tronzi takes it inside the 20-yard line, inside the 10. What a great push. What a great push. Down to the 5. Old cooler bath. Ooh. All up on his neck, and how fitting that it's D'Angelo Antoine, who had a tremendous game, that dumped that bucket. First and goal, they're still running it. I mean, they're... they're Rumors are that Lane Kiffin is uh, out of Boca Raton and on to Oxford, Mississippi. Nothing officially confirmed, but it, you know that, and you still see the sideline rooting for their coach, and you get the cooler bath, and you get a Conference USA championship. It's why he's got that opportunity to go to Ole Miss, because he's won this team over, and they played their tails off for him today. And for now, it is a celebration of Florida Atlantic University football. The FAU Owls, champions of Conference USA in 2019.